in order to connect to the CP40 to download the information we would connect to the serial port on the back of the machine and to do that we would use a USB to serial converter that allows us to plug straight into our computer in order to download the data from the CP40 penetrometer of course the first step is to connect it to your computer I've used the USB to serial adapter and connected the serial port on the CP40 into a USB port on my computer and when I connected that I received a message on my computer telling me which COM port it was connected to so I know that in advance so now I click on the the icon for the software and it opens and the first step is to tell the software which COM port I am using so I click on settings communication and here I can choose which COM port and you'll notice it only goes to nine COM ports so you have to make sure that you have a COM port available in that one to nine range that's a separate Windows issue I will choose COM port 6 because I know that it connected to COM port 6 when I connected the device I say OK to that and now I can download hit the start button and it tells me that there is files 1 to 7 on the instrument that I can download I say OK to that and we see the message there this is downloading and when it's finished we'll get the information down here uh, I didn't have the the uh, locating device connected the Garwin device so I don't have any any geotech details what I can do now is I can now select one of those files to view and I know that number three is quite interesting and it comes up with blank at the moment until I click on the average button and there we can see the graph of the of the performance and I think you'll notice there there around the 250 mark I uh, hit an obstacle which slowed down the the uh, the pressure dramatically of course we've got other ones that we can look at and view and we can just select any one of those and having done that I can now save the file I can export it as a, a special format I can just save it and it'll save it on my computer as and I'll call it test number one and it'll it will save that as a penetrometer data file and now I have downloaded the data and saved it on my computer